Welcome to our intro for the NetBeans IDE. An IDE is an integrated development environment which helps a programmer uh, as a toolbox for rapid development. You'll be uh, presented with this screen when you first run NetBeans. I'm going to maximize this and start our first project. One of the features in NetBeans is that it helps you organize your files into projects. It comes up by default with a Java category, which is what we want, a Java application. So we'll just click Next and head to the screen where we input the name of our project. I'm going to give it a, uh, a, a name of Hello World App. And I will put the project in my projects folder, which is on my flash drive. That's an iDrive where I've created a Java folder where all my projects will reside. And as you can see in the uh, next field here, Java uh, NetBeans will automatically create the subfolder Hello World app. I'll also change the class instead of being called main, I'll give it the hello world app class. And that should take care of my basic settings for this project. I'm going to click on finish. And I'll just wait for NetBeans to create the folder and files the way that I specified it to. Uh, NetBeans is free and it's uh, originally created by Sun. Sun, which has uh, recently been acquired by Oracle. Now you can see the projects window where different subfolders of your project reside. There's a navigator window which shows you in a little while the components of your project, the logical ones, not the files. And the main window we'll be working with is the source window over here where we can see our hello world app.java file open and ready for us to input our code into. Any testing we do will show its results down in the tasks window over here. Next, we're going to be adding some code. In the source code window, now remember we've chosen a template, so some code was already added. Over here, we can see a comment that's been added for us. Let's now replace this comment with our own code. So we'll delete the comment and start typing. And as we type, we can see that there's a syntax error notification in the margin in the form of an exclamation mark in red. So over here, we're doing a system.out.println of hello world, but we've forgotten to include the end of statement semicolon. So if we just hover over the exclamation mark, we can see semicolon expected. Let's add that semicolon and run our code. Running can be done by hitting on the play button on the toolbar. Once we hit the play button, we'll see the results output in the tasks window. So we've got successful results this time. And that concludes our lesson for introducing NetBeans. Next, you'll be prompted to click on a link in order to download the necessary software, experiment with it, and don't forget to comment in the forum. Thank you.